a ding a durgan. This is my intro. What's up, boys and girls? Leave for back one of the custom, and it's taking some time, but it's finally done. Jetstream Sam from Metal Gear Rising, a game that basically sparked my interest in making LEGO customs because nobody did Metal Gear Rising stuff, so you know, I just decided to jump on that, and yeah, I just kept going from there. Stuck to video games pretty much, but then I made the jump to anime, and recently I've seen that a lot of customizers are making that jump too, you know, getting tired of the superhero stuff, so they jump on the anime bandwagon. But remember this, I was first. And that's no joke, like, I can legitimately say that I was the first one to actually making enemy customs on a regular basis. Now everyone else seems to do that. There's nothing wrong with that, but just saying. Now putting that aside, let's start talking about the figure. Now I've been busy with other customs, like after I finished this and showed him on the update and stuff, so I haven't really prioritized making his uh, scabbard, so yeah. He's just gonna... Well, it doesn't have to hold it, but yeah. But yeah, red katana, you know, nothing too special. Gold piece as well. So, let's just start from top to bottom like I usually do. When there's a lot of stuff to go through. So for his face, I decided to go with these kind of eyes because, um... Since Raiden has that, as you can see right here. I decided to do that on this guy as well. Because why the hell not? I don't think it would have looked too good with just two dots. I don't think I would have looked too good because the old one obviously didn't look good, but Raiden looked pretty acceptable and Sundowner uh, face wise. But yeah, Sam was kind of bad. Really bad. Um, really like how the beard turned out though, and the scar. Face overall just really great. Same goes for the sculpt. It was actually kind of fun to sculpt this and all. Nothing overly too complicated, but yeah. I think it turned out pretty good. But I'll probably have to do something with his back right there, at the neck area right there. Um, I don't know if he's gonna sculpt anything or paint something in, I really don't know. But something needs to be done there because his neck is not showing like that. So, yeah. We got the torso. Now, this is quite the mess, as you can see. Not in a bad way, but... You know, in Japan, with all their stuff just going all over the place, you know, design goes crazy. Um, yeah, where do you start? I think I started outlining this piece first, the uh, stomach area right here, and I think I just uh, went on from there with the black outlining. Now it would have been kind of interesting to actually sculpt this area right here, or that connects to the arm and stuff, but I don't know, uh, I'm not for sculpting, you know, torsos and stuff. And this is the first time I sculpt an entire arm like this, um, kind of fun. I can see why people do that, but sometimes they just go way overboard, so yeah, I'm just trying to do that when it's only necessary just for the look of it as for the arm like I kind of just didn't care at all for the arm so I just um, kind of rushed it but try to add as much detail as I possibly could from the pictures I got so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna say about that but yeah it's basically just a little bit messy that's it but other than that it's fine you know it's got pretty much all the details it should have on the back Movie sculpt right there. You see the back? Um, kind of rushed this as well, but uh, not too much. Kind of annoying to paint. And the same day I painted all this, the torso was gone. Like the cat had jumped up where I had all the stuff, and the torso was gone. I was really upset because I just finished this annoying back piece, and it's like, oh, I'm not gonna redo that. So I was just looking and looking and looking and looking until I finally found it can't just disappear um but I've had that happen before multiple times you know stuff just disappears because why the hell not like something just happens you drop something it goes into a black hole yeah or maybe the ghost eat him I don't know something's up with that anyway really happy that I found the torso and for the arm I really think it turned out great I mean, just sculpt wise and paint job wise really good looking Really happy with it, especially the red dots here and there, and just the red overall. Really like this. And then I just sculpted on that hand right there, because why the hell not? Since I have a hard time painting hands, I decided to do this. I'm starting to do this when I'm gonna do gloves, because it's kind of a way to cheat, so... Yeah. Okay, I just noticed that there's a paint chip right there for some reason. I don't know why, though, but... 
Yeah, there is. So I'm gonna have to fix that after this video. That's kind of frustrating, but eh, what are you gonna do? Anyway, just got some pouches right here. I think the legs took the longest to paint, aside from the torso. As you can obviously see, because I painted them all the way around, except for the insides. Other than that, you know, all the way around. Turned out pretty good. Very happy with them. I don't think I could have done it better, because these legs are kind of annoying. Slash complicated. So yeah. So that's pretty much all the figure has to offer. Really nice figure. Very happy with it. Uh, aside from the uh, paint scratch right there. We all make mistakes sometimes. Mines are just more frequent. Obviously. But yeah. That's pretty much Jetstream Sam. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like and share the video around. And I will see you guys next time. Mm, bye.